What's going on, everybody? Slay and Asher here, bringing you a long overdue next episode in our Tales of Zestiria Let's Play. Before I get started playing the game, I do want to address something. I know I've been gone for a while. It's probably been a good two weeks since I uploaded anything. I've pretty, been pretty silent on social media and everything. I just haven't been talking much. The thing of it is, I'd love to say that it was because of my cold or I was having technical difficulties with my equipment, whatever you want to say, but the truth is that's not the case. I got discouraged. Heavily discouraged because I just didn't see the amount of growth I thought I would at this point in my YouTube life. And... Well simplest way to put it is it hurt a little bit so I acted like a two-year-old and not a 30-year-old man and I just said well then screw it I'm not gonna do it anymore I'm just gonna stop which I did for two weeks I haven't touched a video game since the last time I uploaded I, I haven't played this I haven't played Pokemon I haven't played anything since the last day I uploaded sorry for that interruption there folks dealing with my animals playing around me as usual but I, I did I use current terminology butt hurt well the other night while well, I was at my day job and this person knows who they are I'm not going to put them on blast on here that's not my place I never do stuff like that but you know who you are asked me you know why I hadn't been uploading and I said you know I just I haven't been feeling it and they told me well you need to quit slacking what do you love doing more than anything else and I looked at them and said, well, playing video games. And they were like, exactly. So why are you slacking? Why are you not doing what you love? So, well, as you can tell by listening to me now, if you're watching this video, I took your advice. I'm back to it. I'm not saying I'm going to have the same dedication of uploading as I did before. It may be once every couple of days. We're entering the crazy time with what I do for a living during the day. I work retail, so we're entering that crazy time of year, folks. Thanksgiving and Christmas. The two busiest times of year to be in retail. So, I can't guarantee I'm going to be uploading daily. I'm going to do my best to do so, but I can't make any promises. And I want to go ahead and apologize for that in advance in case I can't meet that quota. But, all that being said, I am back. Like I said, I can't be certain if I will upload daily or not, but I am back, and I will be bringing y'all this. Tales of, Gra Tales of Graces. Wow. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World will also be coming back. Exact date, I'm not sure yet, but it will be coming back. And I think I'm going to start working, get back to working another game into the mix. It might be something new. Then again, I'm thinking real heavily I might go back to Kingdom Hearts for a while. The problem with Kingdom Hearts is... All the technical difficulties I went through a couple months ago, I lost a lot of footage for that game. So basically, at this point, I've got two options. I can either publicly release the horrible footage I have. I mean, the audio's choppy, the video's choppy. It, it, it's, it's horrible. Or I can start a new game and I can just mimic it as best I can and get back to where we were. I, I haven't decided if I'm going to go back to having a third game or not. I don't know. I'm stepping back into this slow, so just bear with me for a little while. All right, guys? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Enough of me blathering on and talking. Let's go ahead and get on with the story here. We're picking up right where we left off on the last episode. Like I said, I haven't played it at all. You must be hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. Alright, well, at least we know the innkeeper is going to make us a good meal. Let's go ahead and get a move on here. And give me one second here, folks. I forgot to do something. There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. <laughs> you alright? I just felt strange all of a sudden, like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? 
What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. Okay, so we're heading this way. Which way am I heading, though? Okay, I guess it's follow Lila Day. Actually, I know where she's going. We're headed over here. So, how's everyone doing today? Me, I'm... I'm hanging in there. Like I said, it's just a little... A little trying for me to get back into things, but I promise I'm getting back into them and I'm not going to go anywhere again. I'm going to do my best. And my cats are currently running around me in circles, attempting to play. What the heck's going on with my controller here? Alright, we got ourselves an amber staff. This is a silver chest. We can't open it without the appropriate item, which I'm going to take a wild guess is probably a silver key. I, I could be wrong. I very well could be wrong. But just call it a gut feeling. Okay. Nothing over here. Oh, man. What a gorgeous lake. It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah. Now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps's blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila... This little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of, of Calamity? Calamity? Yes, this figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. 
I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. <sighs> it's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. All right, now that we've learned what our end goal is, which ultimately is to take down the Lord of Calamity to put a rest to the Hellions. Again, that's another treasure chest that requires a key. I'm not real sure if that would be a copper or a... Is that a monolith? I don't think I've checked this one. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in ancient tongues. Seraphic arts. Casting seraphic arts leaves you vulnerable to counterattack, but, en but an enemy's hidden art, which needs charging, will not stagger you and will also have the casting speed of your seraphic art. Thus, if you spot an enemy casting a hidden art by instantly starting to cast a seraphic art, you can withstand attacks you couldn't normally defend against. In other words, don't get caught sans seraph. Okay, I hadn't checked that one because we just got an AP for it. Got ourselves another chamomile. And yes, I'm going to use the chamomiles and stuff eventually, just not right now. That's all. Okay, let's head back to the inn and put some food and give me just a second, folks. I'm sorry. You know, I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila. What kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry. I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly! You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. We'd better get going! Chop chop! No time to waste! The food is probably ice cold by now! <laughs> Let's get going. And y'all might as well get used to that because she's going to be like that for the whole game. I do have my own personal file, which I'm quite a bit further ahead than this one. But I can tell you right now, she's like that pretty much throughout the entire game. So get used to the, the, what's the term I'm looking for? The coy answers and all that. Get used to it because it's not going to change. I promise you that. Oh, I thought it was going to auto-start. My bad. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? 
Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. Go get changed, you kind of smell. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, my! Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepard. It really does. So dashing. Oh, man. I want one. It's the garb of the shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just a minute, Mikleo. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. <laughs> When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary Shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Okay, folks, I'm back. I cut my mic off there because my dog insisted upon having to bark like she always does. I love her to death, but sometimes I just... Quite so. You know. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading up here to talk to Lady Alicia, or as she's better known, Princess Alicia. Take a right here. This is the quickest way to get to Alicia's house. I have to wonder what's going on between these two. I mean, can't really tell if that's a guy and a girl, or a girl and a guy, or a guy and a guy and a girl and a girl. I mean, I'm not here to judge. I'm just wondering what they're talking about. Ah, the shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. Okay, so we're gonna come on to Alicia's property. How could this have happened? Church chest is locked. I believe that one takes a, I'm gonna say probably a gold key. And he just made a really interesting item. Did that say gooey stuff? Failed mixture which turned into some sort of half liquid, half solid goop. Maybe alive? <laughs> oh goodness. I shouldn't laugh. I'm still getting over my cold. Saray, you came. Alicia. The shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Mikleo. We all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. I, uh, I take it there's a seraph present with you? 
If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a Seraph. His name is Miklio. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim, and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? Still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Alicia? I can hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, Everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I, I see. Looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! Legends are no mere fairy tales. Okay! Alicia, we're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care! I will. You too. I'm um, sorry? Looks like our explorer is all fired up.
Okay, well, we got a star right here, so we're just going to move a little bit forward and get yet another cutscene. Sorry for all the talking in this episode, folks. I didn't realize it'd be all them talking and not me talking. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Miklio? Didn't I tell you I wasn't going to let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to the inn and use the save point. We'll probably go ahead and cut this episode off right here. Again, I'm sorry there was so much story talking and not a lot of me talking. I'd forgotten that there was this much going on right now. The next couple episodes, though, should be pretty action-filled. There should be a lot going on, so there shouldn't be so much of dead air, so to speak. But, like I said, I'm easing myself back into this, so I'm not sure how often uploads are going to be. I know I've probably said that five or six times in this like video. From the festival settled down. Just want to stress it to y'all so show. nobody gets mad and unsubs or, or leaves me nasty comments or anything like that. I'm working on it. Let's go in here. Oh, got some skits. So, I really am a shepherd now, but going up against the source of all malevolence this lord of calamity that's a huge responsibility to take on all at once you sound like you just heard about it didn't you talk to lila at all while i was zonked out nope i tried to bring it up but he insisted on waiting until you woke up he spent the whole time with his nose in his books instead what why it was more efficient for lila this way that's all but still you sat around reading for three days straight you could have gone out to explore the city some more what does it matter? I was worn out from the battle anyway, and, and I just had stuff I wanted to read, okay? <laughs> it's okay. You've always been this way. Like when I got hurt and couldn't go exploring for two weeks. You waited the whole time rather than go without me. You're so conscientious, Miklio. Yeah, it's really okay. I wouldn't mind if you went and had a little fun of your own. Seriously, I'm fine. They were good books, and I wanted to read them. Sheesh. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, another skit. Oh boy. Fun-filled episode. Good thing the armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that? Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. <laughs> Miklio got busted. Okay. Let's go ahead and save here real quick. As y'all know, new chapter, new save data. That's how I roll. Okay. All that being said, if y'all enjoyed today's episode, even though it was just a lot of me talking and a lot of the game talking and not a lot of action, please be sure you scroll on down and hit that like button. And if you didn't like it, by all means, hit that dislike button and tell me what I'm doing wrong. I appreciate the criticism. And if you haven't already... Scoot on over a little bit more and hit that subscribe button, too. I, I appreciate all the support I can get these days. If you check down in the description, you're going to find links to social media as well as Twitch. guess I'll go ahead and address this here. The deal with my Twitch channel is I'm getting ready to do a... What's the terminology I want to use here? A stream of the Final Fantasy games. I'm going to start with the first one. Now, this probably isn't going to really start up and ramp up. Till around the first of the year, but I want to go ahead and let y'all know about it. I am planning on doing a live stream of 1 to 13. Obviously skipping 11 because I don't like the MMO Final Fantasies at all. There's a spider crawling across my floor. I'll kill it in a minute. But, like I said, towards, you know, New Year's Eve, New Year's time, first of the year, that area is when I'll really get started on that. Anyway, all that being said, y'all know who I am. I'm Slay Asher. I'm the guy who talks in the year while he plays video games, and I'm also the guy that tells you 
the secret to staying young your entire life is to take care of business, be responsible, but don't you ever for a minute consider growing all the way up because the minute you do, you will be unhappy with your life. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, folks. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.